Gentlemen, this is your basic mortgage bond, all right? The originals were simple. There were just thousands of AAA mortgages bundled together, guaranteed by the US government. The modern ones are different. They're private. They're made up of layers of tranches. The highest level AAA is getting paid first, lowest rated B is getting paid last, taking on defaults first. Now, obviously, if you're buying Bs, you could make more money, but they're a little risky and sometimes they fail. Somewhere along the lines, these Bs went from a little risky to dog shit. Where's the trash? I'm talking about rock bottom FICO scores. No income verification. Adjustable rates, dog shit. The default rates are already up from 1% to 4% fellas and if they rise to 8%, and they will, these triple Bs will go to zero too. And that is an opportunity. You're saying that at 8% the bonds fail and we are already at 4%? That's right. If they go to 8, it's Armageddon. Yeah, that's right. How come nobody's talking about this? You're completely sure of the math. Look at him. That's my quant. Your what? My quantitative. My math specialist. Look at him. You notice anything different about him? His name is Yang. He won a national math competition in China. Doesn't even speak English. Yeah, I'm sure of the math. So you're offering us a chance to short how? With something called credit default swaps. It's like an insurance on the bond. And if it goes bust, and it will, you can make 10 to 1, even 20 to 1 returns. And it's already slowly going bust. 10 to 1, 20 to 1. And no one is paying attention. No one is paying attention because the banks are too busy getting paid obscene fees to sell these bonds. But wait, you are the bank. I mean, you work for the bank. I bet your margins are pretty nice and fat. Let's not talk about my margins, by the way, being all nice and fat. That's a real nice shirt. Do they make it for men? Look, I work for the bank. I don't think like the bank. Big banks, small banks, I like to make money. Okay? Let me put it this way. I'm standing in front of a burning house and I'm offering you fire insurance on it. How can these underlying bonds be as bad as you say it would be legal? Because nobody knows what's in the bond. Nobody knows what's in them. I've seen some that are 65% triple A rated that I know for a fact are filled with 95% subprime shit with FICOs below 550. Get the fuck out of here. You want me to really blow your mind? When the market deems a bond too risky to buy, what do you think they do with it? Take a guess. I don't know, you tell me. Okay, you think we just warehouse it on the books? No. We repackage it with a bunch of other shit that didn't sell and put it into a CDO. A CDO? Yes, a CDO. What is that? Collateralized debt obligation. It's basically where we take a bunch of Bs, double Bs and triple Bs that haven't sold, put them in the pile. And when the pile gets large enough, the whole thing is suddenly considered diversified. And the whores of the rating agency give it a 92, 93% AAA rating, no questions asked. Say that again. Collateralized debt obligation. It's important to understand because it's what allowed a housing crisis to become a nationwide economic disaster. But I just need to know how this could possibly be collated. So somehow you're like the Dora the Explorer and you're the first person who has found this thing. Hold on. So mortgage bonds are dog shit. CDOs are dog shit wrapped in cat shit. Yeah, that's right. Institutions treat these CDOs like they're as solid as treasury bonds, and they're slowly going to zero. You can't be right. There were 500 billion in housing bonds sold last year alone. The ratings agencies, the banks, the fucking government are saying they're all asleep at the wheel. Yeah, that's right. My whole department's long on this stuff. They call me Chicken Little. They call me Bubble Boy. A's, zero. B's zero, double B's zero, triple B's zero, and then this happens. What is that? That's America's housing market. Thank you.